Now, this video is a couple weeks late, people. I got a few requests to cover this one when the story emerged, but here we are trying to deliver even if late. So yeah, let's get straight to it. Now, this Hardy Caprio situation, uh, yeah, it's a serious one. You might have heard all about it, but if you went up to date with what Hardy's been saying recently, the other day, some heartbreaking words dropped by Hardy were doing the rounds on Twitter. And that's where this whole incident sort of blew up. Now, just a couple weeks back, Hardy would initially take to Twitter saying the following. Might have worded this horribly, but just thought I'd be human for a sec. Attached with a heavy couple of screenshots from his notes titled, Being in the music industry has broken me. He starts off by saying, Something that was once my therapy, my passion became my torment and my anguish. My heart hurts when I think about it. The environment that has put me in, the demons that has put me around. I only ever started this because I wanted to change my life. I wanted to be happy. I wanted everyone around me to be happy. I wanted to stunt on girls as a kid, but when I started popping, I didn't even want to do that. I just wanted to be visible. I wanted someone to love me for me. I'm not sure if I'm made to be a rapper, but I love music. I can't even say I love it anymore. Look at that. The peoples inside them buildings rinsed another broken kid from a working class environment, and they're going to do it again and again, and the cycle continues. He goes on to say, why does chasing your dreams make you a target for everyone's hate? Why couldn't I just be like the other kids who woke up to a loving household? Why can't I be the kid that thinks life is fun and go on holidays with my friends? Why do I be respectful to these demons that are trying to take everything I have? I feel like I never got the chance to be normal and no matter how much I chase it, I will never be normal. If I was ever stupid and ignorant, I never had the chance to be aware and intuitive. I never had a family present to raise me to understand my emotions. I never had a dad care about the fact that my blank was sexually abusing me. I never had a mother that would cope with the pressures of having her daughter die whilst being in that position. I was raised to be the anchor. He continues, I never even got to remember all of this until I was 25. I was walking through life not knowing who I am, not knowing why I feel how I feel until the memories came back from a bad trip. My heart hurts when I say still and I just want the pain to go away. I'm literally in agony when I'm meant to be at peace and I think it's because I'm guilty of being a broken man. I've never been allowed to live for me. I shouldered everyone's emotions and lies since as long as I can remember and now the sickest joke is I got to experience freedom and by the time I learned about myself it was slipping from my fingers. I feel like these corporations have been laughing at a poor broken kid this whole time and I'm just the butt of another industry story. I've been fighting and I keep on fighting but is my life all about fighting? He finishes it off by saying, I never got the chance to be a well put together person and it hurts. This won't be how my story ends. May the Lord protect my soul. First of all, that was a beautifully written, soul bearing, honest statement or conversation man, whichever way you prefer to look at it. I know the industry definitely supported when this message dropped with the likes of Rams, who's gone through this before, KSI, S Loud and pages like the Halfcast podcast as well as Winners Talking podcast reaching out to Hardy for a conversation. But Hardy has since spoken again, taken to Twitter saying the following. There's so much I want to say but to be honest, I'll just say thank you for the love and support you lot are sending out. It's not even a toxic masculinity thing when I say I'll be fine. Honestly, for me, it's better to share the experience than sit on it for my whole life, but that's just me. He again follows with a clip touching on the toxic masculinity again that he mentioned before. Yo, so respectfully, I had someone reach out to me and say like, yo, as a man, you can't do this, 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 this. Let's all just choose to approach masculinity different in it because from what i've seen from the men in the generation before they were the niggas hitting our mothers they were the people disrespecting our households they were the people that weren't emotionally available and obviously it's a cycle in it it's a cycle of abuse it's a cycle of trauma in it but i would appreciate like no one enforced their view on masculinity on me because i won't enforce my view of masculinity on you you think what because man can talk about my emotions. I'm an artist, bro. I write from emotions. So I'm always going to be able to express that. And you know what? I expressed it. Not because I was just dying to express it. I was showing you lot the bad as well as the good. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's not, I'm not perfect. You feel me? Hardy has always expressed himself in a really unique way in my opinion and I'm sure you felt something even just hearing that message. A guy who's clearly been through a lot but fought through a lot as well. 
People, me included, do like to imagine that these artists' lives are all glamour and fame, but that's what it's always presented to be, right? Now, although touching on falling out of love with the music, there isn't any clear sign that this is a retirement speech. It really does feel like it was going that way. I mean, I was dreading getting to the end as I initially thought this is a kind of farewell message. However, with Hardy even since dropping a single title Get To Know and dropping another message stating, me venting about being broken isn't an acceptance of that, it's my first step of taking control of that situation. This chapter of my life is all about turning all my personal pain into strength and I hope anyone going through a similar pain knows that they're not alone. I don't know how just yet but I'm going to help as much of us as I can. There's a lot of us going through things and the world wants us to shut up and be alone, isolated. That's how we get defeated but we're a community in it. Our pain is collective. Hollywood H. After speaking with Chucky on a half cast podcast just recently, Hardy has since stated he is now free from the shackles of his record deal and is ready to drop music all through September. So honestly, if you are looking for any guidance or someone to look to at this point in time, man, I'll leave a link to the conversation in the description below. And yeah, I'm a big Hardy Capro listener. I've always appreciated his voice in the game. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Go show some love to Hardy. You've been listening to The Noise Complaint and I'm out.